a lot unknown about this MIBR overpass. There's a chance, perhaps, to catch them off guard. Less so if you die immediately. Yeah, that's not going to help too much. 5v4 quickly in favor of MIBR. Strife have three players pushing up into water, and now Connector. Jota's going to find one, maybe a second. In fact, Woody helps him out. It's all up to Slight, and he's pretty much trapped. I don't think there's much that he can do. He will fall back towards that B site, but there's a player waiting for him there. It isn't one of the that they're used to. E aí, galera, beleza? Tá afim de ganhar um carro de luxo ou uma mansão gigante? Então, esse é meu sonho também, mas eu não sei o segredo ainda. Porém, consigo te dar 5 dólares aqui no site Skins Monken para você fazer trocas de skin. Basta entrar no site, utilizar o cupom ARTS e além dos 5 dólares, você também vai ganhar 25% de bônus caso deposite aqui no site. O site tem variados métodos de pagamento e vai ser o lugar onde vai conseguir comprar skins no melhor preço do mercado. Vou mostrar na prática como é fazer as trocas de skin aqui no site. Adicione seu trade URL no site, coloque seu e-mail, selecione sua skin para trocar, escolha a skin que você deseja pegar e confirme. Corre no seu Steam Guard, aí no celular, aceite a proposta e pronto, muito fácil rapaziada. Agora é só aproveitar a skin no jogo e não esqueça, site no primeiro link da descrição, fortalece com o cupom, é nóis! Burning the flames, maybe catch somebody off guard without aggressive play, but two players out for long, it should be fine. And Surgeon again, is. only Glocks for them here, so they're considerably stacked against them. Turtle finds one, does all the damage against Slight, and finishes off Jolt and Slight for the 3k. Quiet. He'll try and execute, a little bit of noise made by Sixy, but he gives himself away. He gets caught by the MP9 of all things. He's coming off of a spray, second casualty in, 45 seconds to go, Stripe don't have anything to show for this, and oh, they're no. even body blocking each other's flashes. <laughs> Rip. This one seems like it's uh, probably dead on arrival. In the rotations here, they got the third player. Eris, guys, get an open. This would take some heroics. On time, 28 seconds, they need that heaven player, and exit will deny. There's just nothing to do here. You need to get a bomb plant. Yota's gonna try and prevent that from happening, and while he can do no such thing, there's plenty of bodies here for MIBR, and they will in fact take the and round. Again, I think it comes back to when he was looking for a team before the season started. My in the oh, Joel's gonna get okay. the headshot over on X. Right. It makes it a four v four. I'll get back. Two players pushed down by Monster. That's gonna be awkward. Stam and a good job to spray on that. Keep the player who you knew was stuck on the mini map. And deal with him. <laughs> what a peek through the air for Woody. And this bomb's not down yet. Okay, it will be. But he knows he's got a play. The timing. I'll give it to him. Now a chance to get out of the angle for stamina. Monster, he's not ready for it at all. Cello able to bring that through, even if he did take damage. This is a chance to win this round, but he's going to have to go bold for it. And he knows it. They want to play together off of construction. Does he hear anyone who keeps the game tip off? The flash has dodged that, and they expect him to be so close. Oh, this could be the play. Yeah. This could be the play. No one's looking for it. No one's looking for it. He's got the lineup, but he doesn't have the shot! Both players down long A. And, uh, or, excuse me, short A. And, oh, Joel's burns Cello to an itty bitty Chris. Nice flashbang thrown by Sixy to blind Cello and make him unaware of where he was actually going. But Jota right after that drops slight and damage done to stamina as well. There is control of the bomb site. A bomb plant will come in. Come long, Jota's coming through, and man, can he be stopped? A second kill for him on the round, and that's the man advantage over here. We're hoping for coming into the BK, and everyone's dropping oh, for Stripe exit, and Jota clean up house. That'll be want to give it to their primary opper, mm -hmm. and now they're gonna try and put him in a position to get an op frag here over near the A site. Exit. Very much a threat gets one, uh -oh. and oh my goodness, he made it look easy on both stamina and slight. Nice to see him coming alive here as well. Six and one to this point. He was quiet last night, I would say, in that game. Everyone's been so good for MIBR, though, that, uh, I don't know, I just come to expect them all to, to be at this level, right? Yeah, that, sure, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, it is certainly looking rough for Strife early on here. It's still early, I will say. It is still early on their T side. There's a chance to get going, obviously, in this next round. But... I mean, MIBR are looking comfortable. Now, what I will say is, based on this setup, there's a bit of a chance to isolate fights. Harris is going to go around. Oh, and Jota's going back towards long. This could be bad, actually. They're clearing through. Ah, it no, gives the up the audio tough. cue. So close to it. Ran out of time. He's going to get the bomb plant out of this, though, and that's quite the find. Money made. A chance to bring through this round. No longer. It's just going to happen. 
They have not left themselves the time to work with this. 20 seconds. They're all just lambs to the slaughter at this point. It really needs to be that aggressive as they are going to limit themselves right to the waiting arm of MIPR. There's no, there's no way to get through this. Uh, that won't do much damage, but Strife again. Just uh, waiting for an opportunity to push up. Here we go. Stamina is going to go onto that A site, but Cello finds Eris on the other side. Stamina's found himself an empty bomb site, so let's see what he can do with it. This is a chance for Strife to come back into the round. Stamina, how deep does he want to take this? Someone's going to play around, but he's going to find the damage. Wood's getting shut down by Woody. And now, this is very awkward. They've lost the site. They know there's potentially really deep control here. That was a bold plant for Joel's, and he is going to be punished for it. Exit now finds a second as well. Leaves everything on to 60, and 60's on the other side of the map. Oh, so, 60's going to save this AWP. Boy, oh boy. An opportunity. Changes in order. Hair? Yeah. Ooh, Cello gets an opener. Slight hit an opportunity, but uh, did not hit the window on that op shot. And this is looking like another dominant round for MIBR. Strife just get no inroads, right? They can't find any map control. They can't find the engagement they're looking for. Now they're isolating, and it's all up to stamina. They look shell shocked. A timeout would be well in order here for Strife because they need to settle. This was a buy, right? I'm not crazy. This is a buy. This is a full buy round. Yes, they get nothing. They don't. They the barely AMG. get something, something has to change here because it is so limp right now. Sixty's got some forward spot, and that's going to be the shot. There we go. There's that flash again. Maybe some of the stars coming online here. Very early days, but a two man advantage is a world better than they had. And there's a flank out from Stamina. Does he catch this player going down? He does indeed. So now it all falls to Jota and Exit. They have to know that pinch is coming through, so he wants to fight forward, and he'll fight to his death. All on to exit. The man who's normally content to sit back and all himself, and he's found the first off the bomb as well, but he knows the flank's coming through, oh, and eventually he's patience for the players. And I can appreciate that. The problem here is that the patience, you're not finding it, right? You're sitting, you're hoping for a play, and MIBR and giving it to you. So now, if the hit comes in, this is going to be tough. Nice pick, though, for Sixy. Gets a little bit ahead of himself, doesn't realize Exit's still here, but they should be okay. 13 seconds, the flank is on, and Jota shuts it what? all down. Okay, from dust to against the party astronauts, even then it wasn't that bad. I think he went 17 and 20, but yeah, that's that's an off map for Jota. I feel like we're going to get another one of these things, right? Where they're going to look dominant on their opponent's map. And then look kind of shaky on dust too. This, we'll map, this round uh, not looking good at all for Strife. It's going to be the Slight or Stamina Star Show if it's going to happen. They don't even have control of the bomb, so they need to go back quite a ways as that's just been found. Slight will find a kill, but Cello finds the bomb. Stamina, do you believe in the clutch? Here we smoke. Ah! Gonna flash his way through. Doing it. Trying his luck. Now it's done. Now they know he's here. Now they got the base. The rotate is on. Turtles is going to spam a Galil. Why not? And it's going to be over. He knew it was chilling out and just winning every engagement they actually wanted. Could be another one of these double long pushes, except this time, Turtle wins it. Light, able to play back, but he's going to have his hands full here, and they really want to hunt him down. They've got him relatively isolated. They'll take the fight, and they will succeed. Ooh, not good news for Strife. They really need to come out and get something going early on here. And I know it's a cliched saying, but the is absolutely a necessity. Sixy is... It's interesting. Not sure what he's seen or what what the inkling's been. But he backs off it, so that flank will not be as quick to come through. Nice peek, Ooh. though, for Stamina. That's what they needed. And Eris! A blunder, perhaps, but maybe just enough time bought. No. Cello will be able to get this bomb planted, though he expects the player close at hand. Ten seconds. He can plant that bomb. And he is going to be able to do so but with no time to spare. Now his position might be known. Sixty might be able to do this. Cello, though, will have a chance to fight. He's been dinked. Can't afford to take much more damage or any at all, really. Sixty trying to fly into it. The pistols nice. will find the way. Just enough. An upgrade there. You have to imagine at some point the opportunity is going to arise for that to be played. To I wonder if it's as much of a reference for the Brazilian scene as it is for us. 
Oh, hmm. turtle. And exit. Get a couple big kills. They've opened up this site now, but there's reinforcements in the bank, and exit just keeps killing everybody. They could bail to a B. They don't know it, though, so they're going to press on in. But now, having seen both players, do they just leave? They do indeed. Quick read. Quick response here. They're out. The long player doesn't get away, but it's still okay. They found the site. They've got the advantage. Oh. Without utility, this could get rough, but Slight's come back into the angle. Huh. A quick rotate here. Now he's dug into the corner, but with only 20 seconds, they need to plant this bomb. And Turtle's not in a position to help his team. He's get on an island. He gets one. Not the second, though. Rotation has to be quick here. Stamina, does he have the read? He does indeed, but he doesn't have the oh, shot. We we'll see a little bit more from them here. The thing is, their backs are against the wall so early on in the half that they don't have much room to breathe. And, well, you see Slight forcing up that scout. Goes down right off the dock at the cello. That's a five to four in the space. Gained by maybe are towards B, but Eris does manage to take one down with with the 5-7 that's a wicked job by him they might try and retrieve the AK and that would of course be a mistake with Woody waiting right here here comes the creep around Delta has caught a freebie and the second as well he's just so damn good Galil or no he's up to 20 kills and that bomb's going down and that round is effectively over can Joel's pop off here apparently we're going to find out no! no. Resounding <laughs> MIBR really leaning into an A hit right now. Slight spamming through the smoke, and MIBR just trying to slow things down a little bit until the smoke dissipates. Here come the flashbangs and the Molotovs onto the site. Stamina gets the opener on Hello. Finds the second one. Actually, still slight. And then Woody goes down as well to Joel's. Only one frag comes through for MIBR in the meantime. Find slight. There's a flank gone, though. Oh, they should deal with it. Jota last alive. He's kind of dodged the flank, but that's just to go for a save. So nice. this round is over. MIBR out of it. Shota Balin trying to keep his AK alive. And considering their loss bonus is non-existent right now, this is the correct play. It yeah. is interesting how much more teams go for a T-side saves than they used to. Yeah, I mean... Uh... You got some flashbangs, though, so they can certainly make life difficult for MIPR to get to the site. With 25 seconds remaining, though, Woody gets the opening kill. Reinforcements are here. The numbers are here, but they're going to have oh, to wow. do the shooting, and that's where the struggle has come through. Stamina trying to hold the line. He's got nothing. They're getting blanked. They're getting completely washed out of this round. MIPR have reduced it to the gunfights, and the gunfights they are winning. That bomb's going down. Nothing Slight can do about it. With his position compromised, he's going to take one heck of a battle back out of this position to find anything out of this round. He will attempt to come around. He will attempt to come through, but this is over. There's just no chances being given. And MLBR aren't even peaking. They're maintaining the discipline till the bitter end. And all they need is Slight to come around the corner. He should be dead to rights. Oh. Cello repositions. Maybe he gives himself up on that one. But Slight still has to get in. He's out of time. He now has no margin for error. Has to swing around with the kit. He's got one more, but they're just buying the extra seconds they need. Maintaining that discipline. And oh, he tries for the final flick. Nearly gets. Oh, yeah, Austin's coming in, so maybe Sixy was frustrated, and he just said, you know what, that's it, I I'm gone, or the rest of the team was upset with the attitude. We have no idea. We have no information on it, but like you said, Mike, hopefully something more will come out so we can figure out what happens. Anyway, Austin gets off to a good start here with the uh, frag on to Cello. Slight follows up on Jota, and then Stamina with two! It's only it. But, uh... Find the space here, and as you mentioned, it is their round to take. And the MP9's on the other end, cleans out Eris with the AK. Then he finds the follow up on Joel's only slight left standing now. Is what he's doing all the work. The IGL coming out for the three piece. Fama, sorry. Stamina feels like an FP sometimes. There's a flank on Stamina, takes one, and he's got this mid control. No one's here to hunt him. So he can reposition. There's a player out towards the long house, but Stamina can reroute. He's doing a good job of it as well. Out nicely. That kill takes a while to come through, but eventually Turtle does find it. Winning out the duels, you get to realize he's being playing, so no. Down for the count on that one. Going to require his teammate on catwalk to make some noise, and no noise will be made here. I mean, look. He was ready. A lot of util being committed to it. That Molly, is that where they wanted it to go? I feel like I'm that sure. blocks them in. All right. <laughs> Who cares what Molly you throw if Turtle just deletes people like that? All right. Nope. You brought everyone towards A. This is a save. I I think Slight still Slight patiently, and that wasn't the right call in that situation. Oh. 
Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the nade comes through. Be careful with how they clear Goose. Not to mention a couple of players to a long slight. Doesn't get hard cleared by Turtle, who finds himself dropped to the ground. And finally, a flashbang helps Cello take care of Slight. But still, the man advantage for them. And Stamina is pushing up. Here. He's closing the distance. Eris can't join him as Cello drops that box. So fine. Isolates out Stamina, but. Well, Stamina is good for one. So it gives his teammates a chance on this. Problem is going to be exit coming late in towards Cat. Bomb's not planted for him, so Cello basically wants to stay alive here, and he's not able to do it. Exit far too late to get into that angle. Now the Molotov goes over. Do they have a smoke for this? No. That will slow things down, and he's just trying to fight. They need to fight forward for it. They know oh. that. But they don't have kits. Do they have the yeah, clock? Flashbang as well. Molotov thrown at their feet, so they have to be careful how they charge up, and Cello is not. And Austin will take him down with the A1S. And now they're going to continue charging out. The problem is they're walking into a very lethal crossfire. They have to take out the forward guard here at the B site quickly. And they do. Turtle and Jota find Ooh. a couple. Then Turtle also gets Slight after Slight gets that close range off. That may taste the op shot, but it may not be enough to win the round. A 1v2 here. This is miserable for Stamina. Unless they give him a peek, there really should be no way back into this. Fight out long. They're going to commit a lot of resources here in the CTs. They seem like they still want to fight this, and that was a bit of a blunder. Jota waiting for it, and he gets a second as well around the smoke. See if that will be the case here. Four players going up to Cat, up against Slight, who could get one here. If the trade is good, it'll only be one, but it's not there. Turtle drop, Molotov thrown by Slight. And now he has an opportunity to uh, punish a little bit further. Right. What was that? Hmm. Tried to go big or go home. When that does give long control to MIB this time. They're just gonna use it to their advantage. Oh no, Cello gets hit in the head from the 5-7 of Austin lurking around B. That means Austin will at least get an AK here. Will it be a difference maker? Perhaps, Stamina's pretty good with this Deagle. And now Exit gets tagged down to 13. Oh, oh. <laughs> spray down there from Turtle. Gonna pop two, should end this round to be quite frank. Jules and Austin likely should want to save this. Maybe Joel's will hunt a bit. He's got a scout, no armor, right? Like, wait. Whoa. Oh, that was Austin. Okay, I was going to say, if that was the uh, Kukli shot, never mind. Austin is trying for this, but three kills will be all Just he can Constantly get. DMing. Yeah. Aim bots. He's like the Winter Soldier, right? They just put him put him in cryogenic freezing until the next time they need to bring him out. <laughs> He's instantly ready to perform. Oh, and he, speaking of Austin again, speaking he of the man, get the trade and Cello goes down. Woody and Slate, by the way, uh, right before that, both legged each other. And neither could come up with the frag. Oh, the patience from Exit and a little over eager on Austin's side. But the trades are coming through here for Strife. They make it a 2v2, and neither bomb site has been taken as of yet for MMBR. The problem for Strife is that each player is on opposite sides of the map, so there's no room Ooh. for a trade. And look at that shot. Coming up from Long Slight goes down, but Eris is still good for a second. He makes it a 1v1, and this is winnable for Strife because the bomb is at Eris's feet. Eris is gonna yes. win it. <laughs> yes, I've it's gonna seen happen. It work. It's gonna happen. Oh, let the shotgun sing. It sings its beautiful tune, but only one note. Only one note. Still not bad. Seven. Austin needs to get something done in the super sub. Well, he's not gonna be able to net himself much here. He is second in frags. <laughs> That's good for him, honestly. Being behind Stamina, the IG. And oh, Stamina, speaking of which, pops out, gets Jota, but Exit finds the immediate trade. So yes, yeah, slight flank. Brings it into 2v2, and without that bomb down either. Now they know both of the CT's position, but they still have to be able to get a bomb plant. Lurk Smoke throwing to put the doubt in their minds. They might be coming around here. This bomb's now going to transition to being planted. I don't know this. It's actually kind of the ideal time. The Molly towards window as well. With Slight rotating to join it. But this teammate means that they did find the one window they had to plant that C4. Now this becomes a very tough retake without utility either. And a free smoke in towards door. That's a gut Jeez. punch. That takes the win out of their tires. And a huge kill from Cello. The second to follow it. Why not? Set up from Strike. Well, they got everyone in position. It's going to have some nifty shooting from the MIBR guys. Exit takes one. 
got a lot of targets to find. He's got Dave Page over on top of the brain tracks. Slight's making himself a nuisance. Somehow still alive. This is far from a sure thing, though. Players below half, and Turtles found the flank. Oh, he takes that off-bad play. Now things get messy. Get around. He's got one. He's got two. No. Eventually brings You're it through. You're kidding me. And it's all going to fall to Joel's in the clutch to try and bring back this round. It looked like it was a sure thing. And it's now anything but. And Joel's does. And they only need six more rounds to take another win in their so far undefeated season of Challenger League. Turtle certainly wants to make that happen. And Schultz is all the way up mid and he gets the kill. <laughs> ah, he even got spotted. He gets He's got the kill. another one, baby. He drops the bob. He could get more. Astrophy in the pistol round. Now they could just back away. Up oh, numbers. Oh. And it gets even worse. I mean, well, these nice right now for Slight, but they're going to be surrounded very quickly. Look at that nade damage as well. Both players hovering around half health. Now Austin at zero, and Woody has done the same to Slight. Three for Woody on the red. And boosts Woody with the scout onto the A site proper. Strife stalling out a little bit. Uh, towards line now, the player gets into pit, and Ooh. Joel's connects on the head of Woody. Long range. That's actually a heck of a shot, and it will give Strife a potential chance to come into this one. Stamina finding the head of Turtle as well. There we go. Big old gap in these cross smokes, though. Yeah. Big old gap. They're going to have to give in another smoke or a flash they do, and run boost over it, and Jota managed to find very, very little out of that angle. Sure, Exit will have to commit a smoke just to surviving here. Now stuck out with Gandalf and the Molotov at his feet. But I don't think the bomb will be planted just yet. The problem is, MOBR doesn't want anything to do with this. They're backing off. They're going to go ahead and save. Going through to pet him. That's <laughs> so, amazing. Yeah. And an excellent so. name for a dog. <laughs> That's wonderful. But so is he Gandalf I've... the Grey or Gandalf the White? Exactly that. Wild. I'm sure we will to find out. Here's the long fight. There's a player out by the blue dumpster. They don't realize it. Woody gets that one for free. There's still a player in smoke, though. There's a player in smoke. What's Joel's gonna do with this? Timing doesn't work out. Poor Joel's. Poor Joel's. Had the cheekiest of angles. It just doesn't work, and it's a complete shutdown. This round is over. It's just stamina remaining 1v5 with no control of the bomb. A complete denial out yeah, towards keeps long. On giving. Oh, yeah. Truly an incredible feat. We'll see if Austin can pull off an incredible feat with the Creek. He's entrying with the Creek. Weird. And. Oh, come on! They can't what is get going anything. on? How is Jota still alive? Dancing among them. He pulls out three. Massive play, but he's real right now. He feels untouchable, and it's complete collapse for Strike. Guilt death differential now on the season. He's flirting with a hundred guilt of death differential, and only what would be eleven maps if they win here. Exit is gonna clean off. Clean. I don't know what I was gonna say, but he does take down <laughs> Austin, and uh, that is going to be pretty much MIBR taking control of this round. <laughs> Oh no, it's a shutdown here. This is the map point found. Bombs not going to even have that to work with stamina. He finds one. Maybe they're getting a little over eager here. They gotta be careful. Seriously wild to pull out here. So, I don't know. Uh, stamina is an exit and exit. Does get traded. Okay, there's some space for enforcement, but Woody's right there to close it. All no! Right. The close range shot with the Kree comes through for Austin. Jota finds two through the smoke, though. <laughs> this guy. Stop this him. guy. You can't see anything. He, he, he's just. Uh, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, okay. That was a whipper of a shot for Joel, but now he's alone. He's looking for more. They're no! knifing him! Oh, oh, Turtle no. knifes him to end it all out. MIBR ending it with flair, ending it with style, ending it with a little bit of extra salt rubbed straight into that wound.